So guys, let's go ahead and take a break from the Silver Sword drama today, and let's go ahead and stir up some more drama by looking at the Dauntless roadmap here. And quite frankly, um, looking at this roadmap makes me want to go out and apply for some real jobs right now, because uh, looking at this, I'm kind of concerned for the future of Dauntless, and I'm quite concerned for my future as a Dauntless content creator. Especially considering I just bought one of these, um, so my wallet's feeling a little bit lighter now. I should probably get a real job so I can, you know, fill that back up a bit. Because what is there going to be to cover here? Let's, I'm going to be honest. Like, uh, So let's go ahead and go over this. So we have the Bosun's Bounty event uh, next weekend. It's going to be the get an additional bounty token when you claim a completed bounty token. Basically infinite bounty tokens this weekend. But if you are already doing Frostfall gift dropping parties, then you already have infinite bounty tokens basically. So you won't really need this. Uh, you do get a extra bounty token when you complete a heroic escalation or a 10 to 50 escalation. Then 1.13.0 here. Not sure why they didn't put the date on this one, but it's going to be January 19th. And here they have listed new hunt passes as well as Gauntlet Season 2. Now, I'm not sure if this new hunt passes means like brand brand new hunt passes because I did ask. I didn't get an answer about that. But if it is, but if it is completely brand new hunt passes and not just, you know, the old cosmetics shoved into a new hunt pass, then that's actually exciting we getting new co hunt pass cosmetics would actually be you know an improvement and then gauntlet season two I, I can't talk about how much stuff is actually going to be with it but it is going to bring some additional stuff in there i'm just kind of surprised they wouldn't be showing it off as much considering it's it's more than just you know saying hey there's gauntlet season two yeah, by the way. But then the weekend after that patch, there's going to be Cat's Weapon training at double XP when Behemoth kills. Uh, they did specify Behemoth kills here again, but previously it has been X double XP from everything, so I'm not entirely sure if that is going to be the case here. But we'll have to see. Double XP from Behemoth kills is fine as well. It's just not going to be as broken when you have the bounty tokens involved. And then the weekend after that, January 27th to 29th, uh, it's going to be basically just the Bosun's bounty event, but you don't get these extra bounty tokens. Uh, you just get the additional bounty when you claim and it complete a bounty. And then presumably we will have Saints Bond coming in 1.13.1 on February 2nd. And there's going to be event quests, limited time rewards in there. I don't think they've released anything super in detail about this, but if you're curious right now, there are the videos from last year still uh, going over what was in here. You, so you can have a reasonable, uh, you know, amount of what to expect, plus a little bit more maybe. And then 1.13.3 will be March 9th, and that is going to be Gauntlet Season 3. They say more new hunt passes. Again, not sure if that's actually new or if that's just, you know, they're repackaging old cosmetics into new hunt passes. And then guys, it says new seasonal rewards here. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I'm not sure if that means like the gauntlet store rewards or if they have implemented something else that's a different type of seasonal reward like they were originally suggesting at some point on the Favro roadmap, but they've actually taken that off of the Favro roadmap. So I'm not entirely sure what we're getting. Not entirely sure what do we expect out of this. 1.13.2 should be on February 16th, my bad. And then 1.13.3 is going to be March 2nd, 1.13.4 is going to be the 16th of March, 1.13.5, which would be then on uh, March 30th, that would probably have Springtide in it. Considering Easter is on the 9th of March, so 1.13.5 should be March 30th, and then we should get probably three weeks before 1.14. And again, we should expect the same sort of stuff that we did have last year. Uh, the video is up from last year still if you want to go take a look at that. But part of the reason I am concerned here is that we don't see anything that is listed right up here. Right, like this doesn't say anything about the behemoth part alchemy, it doesn't say anything about the honey specific behemoths in the honey grounds, it doesn't say anything about the behemoth balance. This is, this is a roadmap of four months of time and if any of these features are going to be coming out and then you, you should broadcast that. But what this is basically saying right now is that, you know, we aren't bringing out any of these new features. We are just going to be doing event stuff. And if this is all we're going to have for four months, I am quite concerned about the state of Dauntless right now. And then beyond that, their new game, Fey Farm, is going to be coming out uh, in spring at some point. So I'm not sure what's going to happen after that. If, uh, if when Fey Farm releases, some devs are going to come back to Dauntless or something. Because I imagine they maybe made a DLC for that game 
and uh, you still have to, you know, support, you know, you might have to have a day one patch or something like that. You got to keep up with the bug fixes in that new game, you know, things like that. So we probably won't see a huge influx of people coming to Dauntless. But looking at the roadmap here, you know, we don't we don't see where Crudge is. We don't see where the new community behemoth is. And this is this is a four month roadmap. So where is it? Where is it going to be? So that's why I'm concerned here, guys. There's nothing huge that screams out at you from this roadmap. Like the biggest things here are Gauntlet Season 2 and Gauntlet Season 3, uh, and those are going to be coming with new stuff in the Gauntlet store, sure. But I, I, I wouldn't say that's quite enough, right? Like we've been waiting a month for this behemoth already. It should have released with the Gauntlet, but it didn't because they didn't want to time crunch it. But we know Phoenix Labs is capable of making, you know, a, at least a behemoth every few months or so, right? But I just don't have enough words to say that I'm very concerned about the state of the game. And I have never really had to say that before. Because if there was ever a time for me to say that sort of thing, it's after looking at this roadmap. But like, there's there's quite literally nothing on here that is like, oh, super new, super exciting. Like, th there's nothing of that sort on here. And this is probably how a lot of you guys are feeling about this as well. And, you know, I, I just... And again, this this kind of makes me want to go, you know, learn how to make a resume again, uh, start applying for some jobs, because, because look at the roadmap here, it doesn't seem like Dauntless is really going to change that much for the next four months. I don't know if they maybe want to update this further than what's happening here, but, you know, th this, this right here is concerning. But I guess that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. I have been Trevor, I go by the Mr. Trails, and I will catch you guys next time.